All right, people. So just like I made 20 predictions for WWE in, uh, in 2015, I'm going to do 20 predictions in this video, 20 predictions for WWE in 2016. Now, I know this video is, I guess you could say, a bit late. It's, what, January, whatever, 18th. I don't know when I'll officially upload this video, but for the record, today's date, uh, January, January 19th, so... Uh, it's the morning of January 19th at like 6.30 a.m. for the record. So uh, here we go. Number one, uh, we won't see Lesnar versus Owens or Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. I think those are two, two you know, kind of rumored feuds or, you know, Lesnar, Owens. And I don't think so much Lesnar, Wyatt, but, you know, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens is kind of the big feud. You know, maybe people want to see your... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of on the, the Bleacher Report and shit. I don't think we're going to see that because Owens is not that big a star. You know, WWE, WWE, WWE is not building him up. Number two, the stock will drop. And for the record, the stock right now is at $16.80. I think it will drop because the ratings are taking a shit and this company's not getting much better. Number three, Finn Balor will debut and then will go on to be in the mid card. I, I think he'll go... He'll debut sometime around WrestleMania. This isn't part of the prediction. Only the only part of the prediction is Finn Balor will, will debut and be in the mid card, but he'll probably debut sometime around WrestleMania. Probably a little bit after Mania, just like Neville did, and then will be you know subjected to the mid card. So let me just put it in here: Finn Balor will debut and be in the mid card or lower. Um, I don't see, you know, I think he's just going to go down the typical road of the uh, of the NXT superstar. You know, be be great at NXT, everybody likes you. Then you debut, you know, and then you go really right to the mid-card. I think that's going to be what he does. Or mid-card or lower. You know, like Neville, I wouldn't even consider him part of the mid-card. He's lower than the mid-card. He's hardly on Raw. If he's on Raw, he's in a jobber match, too. Uh, number four, Batista will return. I think, you know, he said he's going to return. I think he's going to uh, return sometime. Um, number, you know, he said, oh, I'm going to return. Yeah, I, 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 remember, I, I remember him doing an, an interview saying he's going to return. I think he's going to return. So um, it's going to be sooner than later since he's getting older, so. Number five, Rock will, will wrestle at WrestleMania 32. I mean, they're, they're short on talent. Everybody's injured. I think he's a good chance to wrestle. Number six, Bryan will not have an entering return. I mean, Daniel Bryan, uh, he's probably healthy. I mean, he's not going to get any more healthy. He's been out for, like, fucking almost a year now since, like, Extreme Rules or whenever the fuck he last wrestled. So I don't see him, you know, c coming back to WWE because... I don't think he's going to get much more healthy. He seems ready to return. He's been cleared by doctors, so if he, if he hasn't returned by now, I don't think he's going to. Number seven. This was in part of my 2015 predictions, but since he didn't wrestle in MMA or fight whatever the fuck, uh, it's going to carry over to this year. Punk will win his M MMA debut. I don't think they're going to give him some hard opponent for his first fight. They're going to give him some cupcake, and they're going to progressively you know, make it harder for him. Number eight, we're going to see Kevin Owens versus Taker at WrestleMania uh, 32. I don't see who else he would face. I mean, I don't, I cannot envision another opponent for him other than that. Number nine, Taker will only wrestle at Mania 32 for this year. Uh, he's getting old, so I mean, he can't wrestle too much anymore. Number 10, Rollins will return at. All right, so my phone ran out of power, but. Uh, like I was saying, Taker uh, or, or Rollins will, um, you know, he's probably doing decent on his recovery. I mean, he's getting special care. So I think he's going to return um, uh, before Mania or at Mania. Um, because that'll be like, what, six or seven months. I think he's going to return on the uh, early end of his uh, six to nine month recovery. So, yep, at WrestleMania or before he will return. Number 11, we're going to get an Ambrose heel turn. I mean, he's been a baby face for quite a while now. And I don't think, I think people are getting bored of him and want to see something new. Uh, maybe not too many people, but I know I am. So I think he's going to turn heel. 
And, I mean, they got to do something to spice it up with the low ratings. I think they, they're going to do something different with him. Number 12, Apollo Crews is going to win the NXT title. I mean, they seem to be high in the sky, Apollo Crews. I'm not too big on him. But I think he's going to win the NXT title. Uh, number 13, Bailey will debut on the main roster. I mean, she's probably the top diva in, in, in NXT right now. So I think they're going to bring her up. Because the Divas division is total shit right now. Number 14, Kevin Owens, Neville, Cesaro, and Ziggler will all not get pushed. And by push, I mean like push into a you know kind of a top spot like a Cena spot or a Roman Reigns spot or even like a Sheamus spot where you're fighting for the world title I, I don't think they're gonna come close to even getting to there but the prediction is they will not get pushed meaning they will not see a main roster spot number 15 Mark Henry w will retire I know he's been contemplating retirement kind of talking about it I think he's going to retire in 2016 number 16 Taker Big Show and Kane will all not retire I, I don't see these three guys retiring I see them wrestling for at least another year so number 17 New Day will hold on to the tag belts Till at least WrestleMania 32. I mean, who else are they going to give it to? Well, everybody else is pretty much a jobber, and they're not. Uh, they're, they're not qualified really to have the tag belts. I mean, look at the Usos. I mean, they're nothing special. The Dudleys are nothing special, uh, and who else is there? Nobody. Number 18, Samoa Joe will debut on the main roster. Samoa Joe is an established wrestler. He's been wrestling for a long fucking time. You know, like just like what they did with Kevin Owens, established wrestler, been wrestling a long fucking time. I don't think he's going to spend too much time in WWE. I think they'll bring him up fairly quickly to the main roster. Number 19, Brian Sack, uh, Sack, is that his first name? I believe it's Saxon, whatever the fuck his first name is, will be removed from the Raw announced team. Byron, not Byron. Did I say Brian? It's Byron Saxon. We'll, we'll be removed from the Raw announce team. You know, they're like burying. I see like Kevin Owens they always tells him to shut up. And they're, everybody just buries him usually all the time on Raw, it seems. So I think they'll remove him. And number 20, Rollins will win the Money in the Bank. Kind of that's my bold prediction there. Rollins will win Money in the Bank. Uh, like I said, I think Rollins is going to debut sometime or, or come back sometime around WrestleMania or before. So I think they'll put him in the Money in the Bank match. And um, they'll have them have him win that. You know, kind of what they did with Punk, make him win twice in a row. Except this would be, you know, not twice in a row, but it would be two times. But, uh, but there you go, people. There's your uh, 2015 WWE uh, not 2015, 20, there's 20 predictions for you in 2016, so there you go, people, and, uh, uh, at the end of 2016, what will be 2017, actually, I will do, um, uh, again, I will do another analysis of, uh, uh, of these predictions, as long as, you know, I don't get hit by a fucking truck, or, you know, get shot, or, as long as, I'm, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the volcano at Yellowstone doesn't explode or some shit like that. I, I will, um, I will continue to uh, do videos and I uh, will do an an analysis on uh, on how these predictions went for me. But there you go, people. There's some uh, predictions for the future year WWE in 2016.